on the third section first problem third section first problem obtain reduction formula for i n is equal to integral cot x to the power of n d x n being a positive integer n greater than or equal to 2 and deduce deduce the value of the value of integral cot x to the power of 4 dx. The first let us find out reduction formula for i n is equal to integral cot x to the power of n dx. After that from that formula we have to deduce the value of integral cot x to the power of 4 dx. First, let us find out the reduction formula for integral cot x to the power of n dx. So, now given i n is equal to integral cot x to the power of n dx. Now, this can be written integral cot x to the power of n minus 2 into cot square x dx. Now, this cot square x we can change cot square x is equal to we know that cosecant square x minus 1. So, now let us substitute integral cot x to the power of n minus 2 into cosecant square x minus 1 dx. Can we write this one as a difference of two integrals? Yes, we can write it. Now, let us write difference of two integrals. So, this into this and this into this we get cot x to the power of n minus 2 cosecant square x dx is one integral and other one is minus integral cot x to the power of n minus 2 dx. Now, how to find out the integral of this value? If you observe it, it will be in the standard form. Do you know what is the standard form? See this appears to be cosecant square x is the derivative of cot x, but cot x derivative is minus cosecant square x. So, this appears to be f of x to the power of n into f dash x dx form. So, using that concept this can be again written minus integral cot x to the power of n minus 2 into minus cosecant square x dx and whereas, as this is i n this can be replaced by i n minus 2. Okay. Now, f of x to the power of n into f dash x dx is f of x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, this we can write to minus cot x to the power of n minus 2 plus 1 is n minus 1 by n minus 1 minus i n minus 2. This formula reduction formula has been obtained for this one. See 
if you continue the reduction formula like this actually, if n is odd, it ends with i 1, if n is even, it ends with i naught, if it is i naught we get x, if i 1 is integral of cot x. What is the integral of cot x? Integral of cot x is log sin x mod log mod sin x. So, now let us find out the integral of cot x to the power of 4 dx using this formula. So, now put n is equal to 4, we get i 4, i 4 is equal to integral cot x to the power of 4 dx. Substituting here minus cot cube x by 3 minus i 2. Again minus cot cube x by 3, we have to write the formula for i 2. i 2 is equal to minus cot x by 1 minus i naught. I already told you if n is even number, it ends with i naught. Here i naught is equal to i naught is equal to x. So, let us substitute. This is minus cot cube x by 3 minus into minus plus cot x minus into minus plus that will be x plus constant of integration. obtain the reduction formula reduction formula for in is equal to integral cosecant x to the power of n dx, n being a positive integer integer n greater than or equal to 2 and deduce deduce the value of integral cosecant x to the power of phi dx. Okay. Let us say i n is equal to integral cosecant x to the power of n dx, already given that is. So, this we can write integral cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 into cosecant square x dx. So, why should we write like this means for our convenience of integration. Using integration by parts, this becomes first function, this becomes second function. Now, this is equal to cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 integral cosecant square x dx and minus integral of d by dx of cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 into integral of cosecant square x dx and whole dx. Okay, let us do it. This what is the integral of cosecant square x dx? That is minus cot x. So, this is minus 
cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 cot x and minus integral what will be the derivative of cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 n minus 2 into cosecant x to the power of n minus 3 into derivative of cosecant x is minus cosecant x into cot x. So, n minus 2 cosecant x to the power of n minus 3 into minus cosecant x cot x integral of this one is minus cot x dx. This is very important step here see this minus into minus becomes plus. So, take n minus 2 common. Now, this becomes minus cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 cot x and minus n minus 2 common integral. So, this into this is cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 and this into this cot square x dx. Now, we have to write the value of cot square x. So, this is equal to minus cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 cot x minus n minus 2 into integral cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 into cosecant square x minus 1 dx. Now, multiply these two and multiply these two. We can write it as a difference of two integrals. So, minus cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 cot x and minus n minus 2 integral this is cosecant x to the power of n dx minus into minus plus n minus 2 integral cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 dx. So, this will be i n this will be i n minus 2. Now, i n is equal to minus cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 cot x minus n minus 2 i n plus n minus 2 i n minus 2. Now, bring minus n minus 2 i n to get the i n value. So, i n this becomes plus n minus 2 into i n plus n i n and next minus 2 i n is equal to minus cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 cot x plus n minus 2 i n minus 2. Here what happens means minus 2 i n i n minus i n i n common you get n minus 1. Okay. minus cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 cot x plus n minus 2 i n minus 2. Therefore, i n is equal to minus cosecant x to the power of n minus 2 cot x by n minus 1 plus n minus 2 by n minus 1 i n minus 2. This will be the reduction formula, but in this case we have to deduce this value also. Substitute n for phi. put n is equal to phi i phi is equal to integral cosecant x 
to the power of phi dx. We are deducing the value from the reduction formula minus cosecant phi minus 2 is 3 cosecant cube x cot x by phi minus 1 is 4 plus phi minus 2 3 by 4 phi minus 2 is 3 i 3. Again we have to find out i 3. So, minus cosecant cosecant cube cot x by 4 plus 3 by 4 times minus cosecant x cot x by 2 3 minus 1 is 2. Now, 3 minus 2 is 1 3 minus 1 2 that becomes i 1. Let us see what is i 1. See i 1 is nothing but integral of cosecant x dx. This is log mod tan x by 2. Okay, let us replace it. So, this is equal to minus cosecant cube cot x by 4 and minus 3 cosecant x cot x by 8 4 2 j 8 okay. plus 3 by 8 log mod tan of x by 2 plus constant of integration.